नंबर नाइन ए स्क्वायर पिरामिड बेस थर्टी एम एंड एक्सिस लेंथ फिफ्टी एम एम लाइंग ऑन वीपी विथ वन ऑफ इट्स स्लैंड एडजेस ऑन वीपी एंड एक्सिस पैरल टू द एचपी ड्रा द प्रोजेक्शंस ऑफ द सॉलिड लेट्स ड्रा रेफरेंस लाइन एक्स वाई Given square pyramid lying on BP, so therefore we should draw the front view first. At the same time, one of its slant edge on BP, therefore we should draw the square in such a way that it gives corner position. Then only we can get the square pyramid in slant edge form. So we need to just draw the square. We start with the point A dash. We have to draw a 45 degree line through this A dash to get the side of the square. So we just draw a 45 degree line through this 45 degree square. Then we make 30 mm on the 45 degree line. So here is 30 mm. 30 mm. So we have. 10, 20, 30. So we make 30 mm here. Then erase the remaining part. We can very easily duplicate the square in this particular position by just projecting this. We just project this. We will be getting the remaining portions by just taking this measurement. Placing it at the bottom. Just take this here and we place it here. Similarly, the same thing to the other side also. So when we join, we will be getting the square in corner position. Square in corner position simply means line joining. The corner and the center of the plane must be parallel to the x-y line. So here is a center. It's the center of the plane. Here is one corner. Here you have one corner. You take any one of the corner and try to join this with the center of the plane. It should be strictly parallel to x-y line. This should be strictly parallel to x-y line. Then only we will get the square in the corner position. So now that we got the square in the corner position. A square is a polygon with the four sides equal, all sides equal, and all angle 90 degree. We should not violate this at any cost. So here is a square in corner position. Get this, then we can project this in the top view. So we have a square in the corner position. So we can very well project this through the points. So we get three lines. We can mark this. The first one is A dash. The other one is P dash. Then we have C dash. Then T dash. Then we have O dash. So now that. We just give the top view where all the points of the base of the square pyramid on x y line. So therefore, A is on x y line, B is on x y line which is not visible, D is on x y line which is visible because when we view from here, D comes first, then B. So therefore, D is visible, B is not visible, C is visible. So we put C. And we take 50 mm, that is the axis height, and we find out the point O. So here is the base point. One, two, three, four, five gives O. So this is the position which gives us 
for a slant hinge on ground. So here is here is O. We join O with uh, the bottom points. Join O with these points on the bottom. So we get one line. Similarly, we can join O with uh, the one which is at the center. We get two lines. Again, we can join O with the corner point C. So you have this corner. This is the initial position. So initial position is very crucial in solids. Initial position is the answer in solid. If the initial position is wrong, then there is the entire answer wrong. So there can there can't be any correct answer without uh, a correct initial position. So please take utmost care in completing the initial position. Here is square pyramid in corner position. It is lying on BB. That's why we have drawn the front view first. If it is lying on HB, we have to draw the top view first. Now front view square drawn first in corner position. Corner position means center of the plane and uh, corner they are connected by a line. That line should be strictly parallel to the x-y line. Here we have isolated points. A is an isolated point. C is an isolated point. So then only we can connect these two and we can make these land edges on the ground. If they are not pair of points like B and D, we can't make a slant edge. We can make only a triangular face. If we connect B and D with O, we'll get only OBD. OBD is a triangle. Whereas we connect C and O, we get OC. OC is a slant edge. We connect A and O, we get OA. OA is a slant edge. So this is the first step. Let's go to the second step. In the second step, take either OC or OA. We take OC now, we take OC and we place it on the ground. So on XY line, we draw the OC. OC is now drawn on XY line. We draw OC on XY line. So we name it as C1. C1. First position, second position for C. O1, second position for O. So then we make this dot this is OC OC we have to reproduce this triangle with the help of this line that's very easy so what we do we make one arc with O as center and this OC1 as radius then on that we just take this across the corner distance there is A one corner, C one corner. So across the corner distance is taken. We take this distance. We take this distance and we place it here. We get the other extreme point. What is that point? The point is one extreme is A, the other extreme is C. So therefore we get A1. A1 is of time. So we can very well join A1 with C1. So this gives the base for that triangle. So this is the triangle and you can complete the triangle by joining O and A. By joining O and A, we can very well complete the triangle. Now that this across the corner distance is further one more division that is locating points B and D. From any one of the corner we can just mark this and we can find out uh, the B1 and D1. We draw B1 within brackets and D1. So we can join this with O1. So now we get the final top view of a square pyramid resting on VP with one of its slant edge lying on VP. Now that we can project this and get the final front view. Through C we draw one line, 
similarly through b and d we draw another line there's a line through b and d then through a we draw one more line through a we draw one more line through o we draw a line projection line so same way the horizontal projection can also be made so this point can be projected here similarly we have this point we can project it can project it again we can project from the bottom as well we have to note down that always we give an arbitrary height for the front view the front view is not attached with is not lying on its way there is an arbitrary gap this gap has to be maintained if this gap is not maintained then it will go wrong so wherever possible the views must be isolated or views must be kept away from x y here are two points they are lying on x y line in the top view so what it means one of the slanted is on vp so make the o horizontal and o vertical the intersection gives o1 dash a vertical and a horizontal the intersection gives a1 dash b vertical and b horizontal gives b1 dash c vertical c horizontal c vertical gives c1 dash d horizontal and d vertical we have to slightly extend this and we get d1 dash the visibility rule here is we just assume one arrow head downward this is the arrow head downward and we have to identify the extreme corner this is the left extreme corner we assume one line this is another right extreme corner we assume one line whatever is within this region is the visible region so except oc except oc everything is visible only oc is invisible so we should not keep uh, these diagrams because they are not part of the answer so it's better to erase these diagrams these are all for our convenience so now we understand the visible zone so a b c d is completely visible so to start with we have the skeleton of a square pyramid it is a to b b to c c to d d to a then we have o o a o d o c o b o a this is possible so now above all all the outer edges are strictly visible let us say bc is one of the edge you need not see the check the visibility for this it is obviously visible so first we join the outer edges dc bc then ob ob is also an outer edge so we can join that ob is an outer edge we can join it similarly od is again an outer edge we can join it od is an outer edge we can join it we can join this fine abcd is completely visible so therefore ab is a dark one ab is a dark one ab is a dark one Similarly, AD is also a dark one. OA is also visible, so therefore we put OA, OA a dark line. OA should be drawn dark, right? So OA, so AB, BC, CD, AD over OA is dark, OB is edge, OC is dotted. but up to this we have dark so therefore uh, the slight portion that is left out beyond a need to be given dotted line od is again outer edge so it is completely dark so now we have given the diagram the last part is checking the answer you should check your answer let's say this is a square pyramid like how much base it's given 30 mm so therefore we have to specify the 30 mm 
somewhere on any one base side. So it is necessary to specify the dimensions that we have taken so that it is easy for the examiner to find out uh, the dimensions from the answers. So we just uh, put the extension line and one dimension line. We put arrow heads to complete and we mark a legible letter 30 mm. Similarly, we have the axis height 50 mm. So that can also be represented appropriately. Let's say this is vertical. So with the help of one dimension line somewhere here, you can specify the axis height. Axis height is 50 mm. So first line over the square pyramid base 30, axis length 50 mm. Lying on BP, so therefore we have drawn the top view, front view first. Which one of its slant edges on BP, therefore in the top view, one slant edge should touch XY line. Top view, the OC is completely on XY line. Axis is parallel to HP. If we see the axis height here, 50 mm. Here also we get the same 50 mm. If the straight line is parallel, you get true length in projection also. So therefore, obviously, we can say axis is parallel to HP. That's all.